If you ever lock eyes with a cobra, don't even think about playing hero, just back off slow and pray you were not on its bad side. These slithery show-offs flare their hoods and hiss like they're yelling, I'm the boss, don't come near. And trust me, they mean every word. Curious what happens if you ignore that warning? Hang tight till the video S, and to see why these scaly rulers done to mess around. If deadly drama gets your pulse racing, smack that like button and subscribe for more wild showdowns. We've got a venomous ride ahead. Picture this, you're hiking through a dusty trail, the sun beating down, when you spot a sleek shadow sliding across the path. It's a cobra, and before you can blink, it rears up, hood wide like a fan, hissing loud enough to freeze your soul. That's not just a pose, it's a full-on step-off signal. A warning so bold, it's like nature's own neon sign. Those fangs, they're loaded with venom that'll turn your day, or your life, upside down in minutes. People who've been too close say it's like staring down a dragon. One wrong move, and you're toast. A farmer in India once stumbled on a cobra in his shed and swore it glared at him like he'd crashed its party. I ran faster than I've ever moved, he laughed, still shaky. Wanna know why they're so cocky? Let's coil into it. These scaly bosses are built to rule. That hood, it is not just for looks, it is a stretch of skin propped up by ribs that flare out when they remad or scared, making them look twice for as big. Add in that hiss, deep, raspy, like a punk rock snarl. And you've got a creature that screams, I own this turf. They're not huge, maybe six to 10 feet long, but length doesn't matter when you've got attitude like that. Their scales glint like polished armor and those eyes, cold, unblinking, daring you to try something stupid. Ever seen a dog back off whimpering from a cobra's stare? That's the power of the hood. It's a flex that says, I don't even need to bite you to win. But here's the wild kicker. When a cobra flares and hisses, it's not bluffing. Those fangs are ready to back up the bravado. One strike, and they're pumping venom that can shut down your nerves or melt your insides, depending on the species. King cobras, the big daddies of the family, can drop enough juice to take out an elephant. Yeah, an elephant. A ranger in Thailand watched one nail a monitor lizard with a single lunge. It was down in seconds. Like the cobra just flipped its off switch, he said, jaw dropped. And that hiss? It's not just noise, it's a low frequency growl that vibrates the air, a sound so primal it'll make your hair stand up. I'm the boss isn't a suggestion, it's a law. Now imagine this, a hiker named Priya was trekking in the jungle, snapping pics when she heard a rustle. Out slinks a cobra, hood up, hissing like a broken steam pipe. I froze, she said, it was like it dared me to move. She didn't, just stood there, heart pounding, till it slithered off, probably bored of her cowardice. I've never felt so small, she admitted. That's the cobra effect, making you feel like a speck in its kingdom. And they don't just scare humans. Pythons, mongooses, even eagles have tangled with cobras and walked or flown away regretting it. One wildlife camp caught a cobra facing off with a hawk. Hood flared, fangs bared, and the bird bailed like it had seen a ghost. Let's talk venom for a sec. It's not just poison, it's a cocktail of nightmares. Some cobras, like the spitting kind, don't even need to bite. They'll squirt it right in your eyes from six feet away, blinding you with pain so bad you'll wish you'd stayed home. Others, like the monocled cobra, pack a neurotoxin that'll have you gasping for air while your muscles lock up. A villager in Vietnam got bit while chasing one off his chickens. I couldn't move my legs in 20 minutes, he groaned. Lucky for him, anti-venom saved the day, but he still flinches at every rustle. In that hood, it's got markings, like eyes or rings, that mess with your head, making it look even scarier. Don't come near is tattooed in every scale, but cobras aren't just killers, they're survivors. They'll eat rats, frogs, even other snakes, striking with a speed that'd make a gunslinger jealous. Ever seen one lunge? It's a blur. One second it's coiled, the next it's got its jaws around lunch. A snake charmer in Egypt said his cobra once snatched a sparrow mid-flight. Like it was showing off, he grinned. And that hiss isn't random, it's timed with the hood. A one-two punch of look at me and fear me. Scientists say they can hiss loud enough to hit 80 decibels, louder than a vacuum cleaner right in your face. Imagine that blasting your eardrums while you're staring down those fangs. Here's a spine chiller. A kid named Arjun was biking near a rice field when a cobra popped up, hood flared, hissing like a tire leak. I thought it'd chase me, he said, pedaling so fast he nearly crashed. It didn't, just stood there, king of the dirt, 
watching him flee. I'm never going back, he swore. That's the Cobra's game. They don't need to run you down. They know you'll bolt. And get this, some cultures worship them. In India, cobras are tied to gods like Shiva, seen as protectors and destroyers. One festival has folks offering milk to live cobras. Crazy brave or crazy dumb, you decide. But let's get wilder. King cobras don't just hunt, they dominate. They'll take on other snakes, even their own kind, swallowing them whole after a venomous smackdown. A researcher in Malaysia filmed one gulping a five-foot python. It was like watching a horror movie, she said, but with better special effects. And that hood, it's not static. It pulses, flexing wider or tighter to match the threat. A farmer once saw a king cobra scare off a pack of dogs just by rearing up. They scattered like kids from a bully. He laughed. These guys don't play second fiddle to anyone. Ever wonder why they're so bold? It's not just the venom, it's the swagger. Cobras can stand tall, lifting half their body off the ground, swaying like they're sizing you up. A tourist in South Africa got too close with his camera. It rose up and hissed so loud I dropped my lens, he said. He ran and the cobra just slithered off, probably smirking. And that venom is no joke. Some species can kill in hours if you were not quick with help. A shepherd in Kenya lost two goats to a cobra bite. I heard the hiss too late. He sighed. Speed's your only friend when they strike. Here's a heart stopper. A hiker named Sam was poking around a cave when a cobra flared up, hood wide, hissing like a tea kettle on steroids. I thought I was dead, he said. He backed off slow, hands up, while it held its ground like a bouncer at a club. It owned that cave, he admitted. And they don't just defend turf, they hunt with style. Spinning cobras can aim venom like sharpshooters, nailing eyes with creepy accuracy. A biologist got hit in the face once. It burned like acid, he groaned, rinsing for hours. Respect the hood, folks. It's not kidding. So, how do you dodge the boss? If you're in cobra country, think jungles, fields, or rocky hills, watch your step. They love hiding in tall grass or under rocks, so poke with a stick before you plop down. Hear a hiss or see that hood. Freeze, then back away. No sudden moves or you're asking for it. Got boots? Wear them. Fangs hate thick leather. And if you're bit, don't panic. Yeah, right. Keep the limbs still, wrap it loose, and haul ass to a doctor. Antivenom's your lifeline, but time's ticking. Pets in the mix? Keep them leashed. Cats especially love chasing trouble. Still here? Sweet. Cobras aren't just scary, they're slick. They'll coil tight to strike or stretch out to bask, looking like royalty on a throne. In old tales, they guarded treasures or cursed fools. Today, they just guard their space. Ever seen one sway to a charmer's flute? It's not hypnosis. They're just tracking the movement, ready to lunge. A handler in Bangkok said his cobra hissed every show. Like it was tired of my playlist, he joked. Feisty till the end. Let's wrap with some bite. Cobras can live 20 years, ruling their patch with every hiss. Their hood markings, spots, stripes, spectacles are like crowns, unique to each king. Ever met one or got a wilder story? Drop it in the comments. We're hooked. Watch the video for the full Cobra Clash and like, subscribe, share if you're bowing to the boss now. Stay safe, friends.